Hello again, everyone. Welcome back, and we have one more review to do here in uh, beautiful Jamaica. This is the brand new Killer B Connecticut. Now, this is four and a half by 46. And a little bit about the cigar. It's comprised of a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper and an Ecuadorian Maduro, uh, the swirl part of the cap and the closed foot. Of course, made in Nicaragua. This is your density. Now, of course, this is every bit a color of a Connecticut shade wrapper, but the uh, contrast is very nice with the uh, darker lines on the top and the bottom. So uh, this, as you can see behind me, is the main beach again, and uh, this part of Jamaica, basically there are no waves. It's almost like looking at a lake back there. Very nice, very relaxing. That's why we like it. Good place to do a review. So let's get right to it. The brand new Killer Bee Connecticut. You know, one thing I um, realized, this particular Killer Bee, this is not a closed foot at all, is it? But let's, um, let's clip this little bit of the cap. Okay. It's a pretty much effortless draw. Very nice. I've had these since uh, middle of July. So let's light it up. This is another Connecticut. It has a lot of cream notes. There is a tangy citrus there, which is sort of like a, actually like a very sweet pink grapefruit. Has a little bit of that. It's those qualities. There is quite a bit of brown sugar and cinnamon, and a lot of an earthy black coffee. Black pepper at around eight, maybe a touch below that, but it's quite peppery. There's a, an earthiness that is nutmeg that is a sort of in the mix. It's just sort of in the mix. It's not attached to anything particular, but you get it. Uh, in the middle parts of the flavors. It's probably too early for a finish yet, so we'll wait on that. But that's how we start, and it is a nice, sweet start. Very good start. We're pretty much here at the first third, and I've got a timer on this, but uh, I'm not real sure about my time. This is about 15 minutes in, but this particular Connecticut has a ton of brown sugar combining with the cream that makes it just so smooth and sweet. Black coffee base is nice. It's noticeable. It is not intrusive. The cigar is, is pretty much medium body. But the, the tangy citrus is dwarfed by the stream brown sugar and um, cream. And the cinnamon is also in there with those, with those two, making uh, continuing to make a very nice flavor. Pepper remains very good, very good. It's nice black pepper. Finishes nutmeg, cream, and a little brown sugar. It'll give it a little sweetness. So it's very good. I mean, this is a top notch Connecticut cigar. I love the rich, sweet brown sugar and cream and cinnamon combination. It's just fantastic. I would start the first third at 94. Excellent, excellent. Well, come on. Killer B, you know, James Brown, they don't make anything bad. 
this is an excellent cigar. Almost as good or as good as the view behind me, would you say? Well, I'm going to call that the uh, end of the second third because we're right at the band. But this is just an extremely sweet cigar. The brown sugar cream and uh, cinnamon make such a nice flavor. And then you throw in what now is more or less a cedar. It's kind of gone away from the um, citrus notes, but it's a cedar. And it also adds a lot of flavor and some sweetness. The coffee is very nice at good level. It's, it's, it's high enough to detect and taste, but it doesn't get in the way. And the nutmeg, it may have slightly decreased, which didn't hurt anything because sometimes nutmeg mellows out the cigar too much. The finish is much sweeter with cream. And there goes Connie. Um, hey, Connie. Uh, Tons of lingering black pepper. The, the, the pepper in this cigar is very good. I'm holding the score of 94 with temptations to raise it, but I'm going to hold it at 94. This is a good cigar. Uh, the sweetness can't be denied. It's just an excellent cigar. So uh, let's see what the final third brings. I think we've got a pretty good uh, cigar here, James Brown. Connie, wave Connie, and there goes Connie, well we're down to the end so let's wrap it up man. There's rain moving in, so we got to move quick. But this has been one heck of a sweet cigar. The cream and brown sugar, the cinnamon, the citrus, which turned to cedar. Nice black coffee. Medium body. It's really not much more than that. Great finish. Great sweet flavors. I'm maintaining 94. It's a solid, solid, solid overall score of 94. It's a great cigar, James. I tip of the hat. Connecticut's aren't easy to deal with because they can uh, really go one of two ways. Not so good or very good. And this is a very good one. And if you're curious about this setup, how I did this review, here's a quick picture of the uh, crude setup that we uh, used. So that will do it. That's our third review here at San Susi. Beautiful resort in Ocho Rios. I highly recommend it. A couple of San Susi right here on the main beach. That will do it for this trip. Third review. Very proud of getting previous reviews in this trip. So there you have it, the new Killer Bee Connecticut 94.